Hi guys, so in today's video, I wanted to cover how you can get started coding Shopify sites in 2021. I've been coding Shopify sites for about a year now for myself and my clients. And honestly, I haven't seen a very good resource out there for you know what steps you should take to get started coding. There's plenty of resources for getting started making a store and whatnot, but as far as coding, uh, you know, it's uh, I think it's fairly sparse. And with this guide, I'm trying to give you resources that you can use to learn how to code quickly so you can start to work on coding your own Shopify store as quickly as possible. So just a really quick introduction to web development in general. Almost any website you're coding on the internet, you're gonna have to learn how to code three uh, different programming languages. The first is HTML. HTML is sort of the structure of a web page. Uh, CSS is the second. CSS generally controls your styles on your web page, how things look, not where they are, that would be HTML, but how things look, that's uh, CSS. And the third is JavaScript. That's for any logic that you need to put on your page. It's like for calculations, for things that need to be tweaked on the fly, that sort of thing. The final language that you're gonna need to learn to code Shopify sites is Liquid. This is unique to Shopify. Um, but Liquid is basically the way that you're going to be able to, in your code, communicate with shop data that you have stored on Shopify. As far as like product titles, customer data, um, collection titles, you know, data, data concerning whatever goes with your store. So if we first think about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the hands down the best uh, resource I've found for a beginner to learn these things on the web is called the Odin Project. And so what the Odin project is, is it's basically an online boot camp um, that was made by a guy who actually went to an in-person boot camp for coding. He came out of it and he said, you know what, we could, you could probably do this online. And so what he did was he tried to collect all the best resources as far as learning web development on the internet and put them together into a cohesive curriculum that people can work their way through. Now, there's several different tracks on the Odin project. There's the foundations path, which you can see here. Um, you have your full stack Ruby on Rails path and then your full stack JavaScript path. I would recommend to you to do just to get started, just do the foundations course. Um, it, it's a very brief overview on like front end, back end stuff. Just by doing that, you're going to get your feet wet um, and you're going to get a feel for like what this is like and what sort of stuff you can start to do with your Shopify store. A few notes about the Odin project. It's very focused on project based learning. Uh, and this is really great for developing or web development because uh, you, you'll learn very quickly with coding. The most learning you do is when you're actually doing projects and you're actually doing the code. When you're actually just you know sitting there and reading through resources, yes, you're learning and obviously that's sort of a prerequisite to be able to do any projects, but you do the bulk of your learning by the doing. I can take you guys in here for a little bit. So you can see basically... You have this front end section. It takes you through like HTML and CSS basics or whatever. Then at the end of it, there's this project. And you can see just each of these uh, sort of modules has these projects at regular intervals. So if we go into one of these lessons, like let's go to fundamentals part one here. So, you know, they give you like a sort of an introduction at the beginning of the lesson. They start teaching you about um, very like they start teaching you about the different topics. And then you can see this is linked here and they have this variables tutorial, right? And this is like from javascript.info, which is a completely separate website to them, right? They've compiled these resources together. And these resources, in my experience, they're like top of the top of the line, very quality resources. Everything in the Odin project, and actually everything I'm gonna mention in this video is free to use. You can see they have these um, additional resources at the end. Uh, I would advise you check out all the additional resources don't feel compelled to like work your way through every single additional resource, but if something is catching your fancy, um, definitely look into it. And that's how you're going to do the bulk of your learning is just like just getting really immersed and interested in this stuff, guys. The other thing with the projects too, don't feel compelled. Like you don't need to do their projects they list, right? Like let's say, um, you know, here they have this uh, this like calculator project or whatever. If you guys want to do something for your website instead, if you guys need to do like something, some project with similar functionality on your Shopify site, then just, you know, do your project on your Shopify site, right? Like don't, 
don't be like you don't need to stick to their specific projects as long as you're exercising the same skills definitely check out the odin project i'm going to leave links for all these resources in the description of this video that should teach you the basics of html css and javascript the next language we're going to be learning is liquid and so with the odin project i would imagine it's going to take you you know, it depends how much time you're devoting to it, but it'll probably take you maybe a month to work through that. Okay, so the next uh, resource is is this uh, basic liquid tutorial for um, that Shopify has put up on their GitHub. And you basically, you just wanna go through this, just learn about like, you know, the operators, truth values and whatnot, types, stuff like that. Very brief overview of liquid. This is gonna take you, you know, an hour or two max to, to look at but you're gonna be glad that you did because before you try to delve into this stuff, you look at like liquid, it's like all these brackets and there's like percent signs everywhere and you're like, what on earth is going in or going on? This is this is literally going to, you know, sort of allay that that um, overwhelm, or that overwhelming nature of liquid and you're really gonna get a feel for like, okay, this is how you make a variable. This is how you do stuff with the variable. Once again, you know, if we go back to the idea that like you do, you learn most through doing, right? While you're checking this out, right? You know, run some of the examples in this like liquid sandbox that I have linked. It'll allow you to, you know, type in some code, like right here, they're assigning my variable to tomato, and then they're printing it with this um, thing that, that makes it uppercase, right? So, and then you see it prints it out, tomato, all uppercase. So yeah, so just run some of these, make your own, just play around with it. That's how you learn this stuff, guys, just immersing yourself in it, playing around with it. The next resource that I wanna show you guys, this is really cool, is this coding examples for Liquid. So Shopify has published all of these coding examples for um, Liquid code. If we're thinking like, okay, we wanna see, how do you make a collection page? This isn't gonna work with every theme, especially like custom themes that you guys have uploaded yourself, but like this is generally how you would make a collection page in Shopify. Just looking at this stuff, it's gonna give you a feel for like the coding conventions that Shopify uses, how they want you to code things, and you know, it'll give you inspiration ideas of like, okay, if this is how you can create a collection page, maybe I want a collection page and then I wanna combine it with something else and I can either copy paste from here or I can, you know, copy paste certain things or just take inspiration. It'll also just give you more of a feel for like, this is what liquid looks like, this is how liquid works. The next thing that I would definitely recommend, and this, I use this literally all the time when I'm coding Shopify. So Shopify has all these things called objects, right? And um, they have all these these like data, this, they have all this data that you can access, but it's like to keep all of them in your head, you know, all of that, those uh, data things and the objects in your head, like the names, specific names of them, is like such a hassle. If I pull up this cheat sheet, right, and I'm like, oh, the product object, I forget like what sort of data that has, right? And then I search product, right, you know, it'll return this this product object here. And it, you know, I'll tell the product object, it give me this learn more, I can go here. Here's like all, everything about the product object that Shopify has on their dock. I can see, also see like, let's say I wanna be able to like say what the product price is, right? I can go down here, you know, I can read this returns the price of the product, you know, and, and this is for like anything guys, such a good resource. And honestly, like it actually took me a little bit to find this. And um, once I found it, oh my God, I was so happy. So, so anyway, so um, yeah, so, so, you know, you can click on each of these. It'll take you straight to the thing. Super helpful. Yeah. Just definitely check that out. Like once you start to get, you know, delving into the actual code of your site. The final resource that I wanna give you guys, and this is gonna give you a chance to get sort of like certified in this stuff and, and take a test to make sure that you, you know, you've know you covered everything and whatnot, is basically they do these, uh, they have this thing called their Shopify Partner Academy. And so Shopify partners are basically like developers and whatnot that, that um, you know, uh, code Shopify sites and whatnot, and Shopify gives them this whole platform to be able to do that securely and whatnot. But anyone can become a partner. Like all you need to do is go and sign up, right? And and you know I'll put a link for this in the description or whatever. But once you become a partner, you get access to all of these really cool resources. It's called like the Shopify Partner Academy, right? And all these resources, they have everything from like business management to like marketing to like um, how to code, like or, or like study guides for coding Shopify and stuff like that. And then like they have certification tests for those things as well. It's a great resource. I don't know why it's not more out there, but I'm telling you guys about it now. Check the, that out for sure. I would definitely recommend if you're interested in, you know, like working with your theme, check out the theme, uh, Shopify theme study guide slash uh, certification test or whatever. And then if you're interested in doing like app development, which is definitely a little bit more in depth, um, 
then you know check out the the app development study guide slash certification test so yeah guys that's about everything some of my closing thoughts you learn how to code by coding you're not going to learn how to code by just like just looking at resources whatever do the coding you'll learn if one of these resources isn't your cup of tea you know we're all unique learners uh so maybe you know my style of learning isn't your style of learning um find another resource don't like force yourself to like slog through these resources if they are a slog for you uh, just because like some dude on the internet told you to. Learning should be fun, right? So have some fun with it. If you're not having fun, uh, you're probably not in at the right resource. I'm gonna link at the end of this video, I have a bunch of tutorials on like coding Shopify, just basic features and stuff like that. I think that'll be helpful to you like once you start learning Liquid and HTML and blah, blah, blah. Like it'll just give you some examples of like, okay, this is how an actual feature, like this is how a developer actually approaches like coding in an actual feature. And then the other thing is like, you know, my YouTube channel, I try to make it a great resource for people. Um, so definitely check that out too. If you like this video, um, you know, what I do on my channel is I make all these videos pertaining to Shopify, like how can, you can make your store better as far as coding, digital marketing, those sorts of things. So if that appeals to you, subscribe. Um, I also give a random, one of my subscribers each week, a free consultation on their Shopify site. So yeah, so like definitely if that interests you, like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, guys.